sum of the angle measures in a triangle less than 11.2a. There's a special relationship between the measures of the interior angles of a triangle. The measure of angle A plus the measure of angle B plus the measure of angle C is equal to 180 degrees. The sum of the three angles will always be 180 degrees, no matter the shape of the triangle. Remember, a straight angle is 180 degrees. So if you remember back from 4th, 5th, and 6th grade, equiangular triangles have three 60-degree acute angles. 60, 60, 60, it'll total 180. Right triangles have one 90-degree angle. An obtuse triangle has one angle greater than 90 degrees. So do you remember a, an acute angle that is less than 90 degrees and an obtuse angle is greater than 90 degrees, but it's less than 180 degrees. We can draw a triangle, label the vertices, and cut it out. Then we tear off each corner of the triangle, which includes a vertex of one of each angle. Now we arrange the vertices around a point so they don't overlap or have gaps. So I have A here right on the point. See how I have the vertice tip right there. I'm going to take this tip of B, flip this around so it'll fit. Then I'm going to take this tip of C, I'm going to have to flip it around so it'll flip, and I can fit them like that. And the corners of the triangle will form a 180 degree straight line showing that the sum of the angle measures of a triangle is 180 degrees. This brings us to the triangle sum theorem. The sum of the interior angle measures of a triangle is always 180 degrees. The measure of angle A plus the measure of angle B plus the measure of angle C is equal to 180 degrees. This means they're supplementary. They equal 180 degrees. And it doesn't matter what type of triangle we have. We have a 55 degree angle, a 60 degree angle, and a 65 degree angle. That's going to total 180. Here we have 110, 20, and 50. That equals 180. Here we have 140 and 20 and 20. That equals 180. Regardless of their shape or size, all triangles have interior angles that total 180 degrees. There can only be one right angle in a triangle. A right angle measures 90 degrees. If there were two right angles, their measures would total 180 degrees, and we would still need a third angle. The third angle cannot be zero degrees. This won't form a triangle. It needs three sides, and it's got three sides, but because it has two right angles, it can't form a triangle. There can only be one right angle in a triangle. Since one angle of a right triangle is 90 degrees, the two other acute angles of a right triangle are complementary. If the measure of angle B is 90 degrees, then the measure of angle A plus the measure of angle C is equal to 90 degrees. The sum of complementary angles is 90 degrees, and 90 degrees plus 90 degrees equals 180 degrees, the interior measures of a triangle. We're finished with the first part of the lesson. We're moving on to the second part, justifying the triangle sum theorem. A theorem is just a statement that's been proven, and we'll talk about that in the next lesson. Have a great day. Bye.